I have a weird experience I want to run past you and see if it happened to you. Did your narcissistic romantic ex send you photos or song reminders during their absences? This can act as a way to give you an emotional placeholder so that you feel fondness and connectedness even when they're not with you. Mine would do this when he was actually acting out and seeing other people. And he would not be reachable by phone or text, but he would send me a photo or a song suggestion along with I'm thinking of you as a way to reinforce the connection without actually really being connected and having a moment of real love and affection and support. Did this happen to you? Drop me a comment, let me know. And if you're not following me, please do. So yes, please do follow Dr. Carrie McAvoy. She has some amazing things. But as a diagnosed narcissist myself, there is a reason why narcissistic people send those song lyrics and pictures and poems and sweet nothings while they're out there cheating and doing, you know, malicious things to you. It's the inner guilt. It's how we process our inner, our inner conscious lists beating us up, letting us know that we're doing something bad. So in other, in 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 a way to just trying to breeze that over, we'll send something to you to convince ourselves that we can still love you while we're out here doing something completely different, doing something that shows that we don't love you. A lot of narcissistic people use compartmentalization to just like I'm, I'm gonna put you in this box. And this person over here is going to be in this box. So I think I can cheat on you and love you at the same time. And yes, she is completely right how it just serves as a placeholder because we can't imagine you doing the same things to us that we are doing to you. So we don't want you to do that. Hey, let me go ahead and reinforce this love that I have for you and reinforce the love that you have for me. So you don't move on without me. So you don't go out here, go out here and give me some, give me some, get your, get your lick back, you know, give me some payback and whatnot. So you don't go out here, <laughs> you don't become the karma. Please don't give me that karma. It's a way to ease our minds and try to shake free of, of the things that we are out here doing. A lot of narcissistic people will do that. Well, they'll turn, they'll turn, they'll, they'll send you a, a love song or some kind of, you know, crazy, the song y'all got married to or the song that you first met, uh, the, the first song you listen to together just to reinforce that with you while they're doing something horrible because you might be thinking like they can't they can't be out here doing something horrible and and thinking sending me sweet nothings right right but you're wrong they will absolutely do that so you have to protect yourself you have to protect your mental and physical health when you're dealing with narcissistic people that turn their phones off and disappear for extended periods of time with no explanation or just saying oh hey my phone died <laughs> anyways follow dr Kerry mcavoy and also follow me on youtube too thanks